I'm A1 Wolf, an artist from the city of Durban that's a lot more complex than you think. I've scored amazing endorsement deals with major brands. I've had a few major songs. I performed at sold out stadiums and rocked out almost every major festival in this country and a few abroad. From the outside, it would seem like I was living the perfect life. But very few people knew what was going on behind closed doors. That led me to the decision that changed the course of my life two years ago. In this documentary, we interviewed the people closest to me around the time I made this decision, so you could understand. The perfect story. My name is Ndengi Angie Phillips. I'm a mother to A1 Wolf. A1 was a quiet child. Uh, he likes debating. I never thought he would like music. Me as a mother, I'm very happy because A1 helped us in so many ways. And he also bought me a car. He helped us with the house. We had some problems and he helped us. So I'm really happy. Even the brothers are also happy about it. What's your relationship to Ewan? Uh, my name is Michael. They call me Junior. And uh, I'm Arnold's brother and his little brother. So it's like four or five of us. We all love each other to death. That's all it is. It's all about love, bro. Family is there where no one else is there, bro. I'm Tagozilia Phillips. I'm Ewan Wolf's sister. Uh, he comes after me. So many different things to being a brother, you know, from when he was little, well, from when I grew up with him. Um, he's been like the best little brother I could ever have, you know, anybody could ever ask for. It's, it's a blessing, it's a blessing, <laughs> yeah. Say something, Charles. Yo, yeah. I'm Charles Phillips, A1's older brother. Do you want, to, you want me to lie or you want the truth? <laughs> yeah. Yo, I've been with this nigga all my life. He's been by my side all my life. Yo, can you hear me? All right, cool. <sighs> my name is Pound. Um, my relationship with anyone Wolf, besides, besides just musically entertainment, like, that's my boy, man. That's my nigga, man. That's my nigga. Like, that's my boy. He's fam. He's fam, yeah. yeah. Got myself a law degree while still rapping a dope beat to show me where the drugs be. Only MC, yeah, the only MC with an LLB. <laughs> I was not too happy because Arnold did his law degree, so I thought he was going to be a lawyer. But anyway, at at present moment, I'm happy. You wouldn't believe all the shit that I've been through. Running through my mind every night when I miss you. A1 is a rock star. Yeah. Arnold is a human. He's a lawyer. He's a professional. And that's the difference. Uh, A1 with me as a big brother, like... Quiet. Like, he's like most... The one that's like the most quiet. But it's not that he was... Quiet. He was always plotting in his head. <laughs> Man, the A1 in private is more like wants to chill, like watch movies. Uh, to live and die, take win. Mike check one, two, one, two. Uh, to live and die, take win. We don't call him the prince of the city for nothing. <laughs> Where the prince of the city at? Put the whole city on his back. He's put a lot of niggas on. I'm gonna name drop right now. But they all know who they are. I can name drop a whole lot of guys anyone has helped and he's put through his Gemini Major, WTF, um, Nasty C, uh, Palm Tree, Kyle Deutsch, Shikana, the whole Wolf Pack guys like coming up right now, Coombs, um, Kenny and Cruz. Like there's a whole lot, even me. It's done too much for me. Sketchy Bongo, man. Like Sketchy Bongo wouldn't be me is without A1. Like, perfect tag team. I love children, so I think A1 also is going to be like me because he also likes helping other children to develop them. There's a lot of sacrifices he made for the industry, hence why the, the come up took so long because he carried the whole city on his back. Uh, that doesn't party that much no more, you know, but like in the A1 in public, what can I say, man? Like he's a businessman, you know, 
is out there for his people, like he's, he's the people's champ, if I put it like that, you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, the dude is reserved. I don't think about you. I don't think about you. I wouldn't even like, I wouldn't even lie. I like, before he left, uh, I know about like what happened when he left. Ewan was very cross when his father left because he was not 100% well. So he decided to go back to Lesotho. He loves him. And he also helped him. He, his father had a stroke last year in December 6. So Ewan did everything for him. He's like one of the only people in the family that can always like check my dad because they're, they're so close. They have an understanding. He can only, he's like one of the only ones that can always check my dad and be like, nah, what you're doing is wrong. What you're doing is, you know what I mean? His relationship with our parents, he's always been very headstrong. He's always been the type of person that let them know, that let them know from very early on who he is, you know, like as a person, what he wants. And he was never shy actually to express himself. But at the same time, very respectful and um, very loving towards them. Now, my dad being a headstrong man as well, they, they, they always clashed in ways. You know? Wise boy, yeah? but naive at times. You're so unforgettable. Na, 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 na. Hey. You're so unforgettable. Na, 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 na. The 69-year-old football administrator died in Durban this morning due to heart complications. Ngobani served Pirates for seven years before resigning from his post in the year 2000. What was anyone's relationship with my dad, with my father? He was close with my dad, like I was, like, like he was a proper father figure. Anytime we needed advice, anytime we needed anything, one of the last things they ever said, because anyone came to the hospital to see him, um, when he had the stroke. So when, when, when Ewan got there, my dad woke up a little bit. He saw Ewan. It's an man who can the lab. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was saying, man, the, one of the last things my dad said when he saw Ewan at the hospital, when Ewan came to visit, he woke up, he saw Ewan at the hospital. Ewan was standing next to him. Ewan was holding his hand. He's like, boy, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of what you've done. Uh, you've been doing good for yourself. Like, um, that's actually one of the last things he said that were like, that was like proper before he passed on. Like one of the last people he saw was A1. That's everything we need and I love the city. I will not leave. I will not leave. I will not leave. I will not leave. We're born and born in Devon, boys. We love our city. So he grew up all his life in Devon. He loves Devon so much. I don't know whether it's because of the sea. <laughs> Um, this is a city that shaped him and that helped him to um, to fully realize his full to realize his full potential. Actually, the boy has done so much for like Durban artists and Durban itself, man. Like I, th I think he's, he's the front runner in terms of putting on for the city. I don't think there's been that many guys in terms of hip hop that have put on like A1, like Charlie, like Junior Lavi. Those guys are just three names. Like there's also Charlie, there's also Junior Lavi, man. You know, we're all a team, but the boy, anyone has done too much, man. He's done too much to put on for the city, man. Thanks for taking your time to watch this. I hope hearing from my family can help you understand my decision to pull back from the mainstream industry two years ago. I learned there's more important things in life. Losing my father figure to a stroke and then having my real father have a stroke soon after that made me realize I shouldn't hold back my real passion of helping people. Made me focus on my family. Made me focus on finding myself. Which is why I started The Warehouse. So don't think since I started working on my last album, The Zaywan Wolf, that it's over. It's just the beginning. Cause this dream's way bigger than me. I love my family. I love my people. I love my city Choose love